All right, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Shmi Yahweh Shai, Allah Hayanawa. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakudash, Shalom Mabarakim, La Bakan Shayasha Allah. Washeni Kabaga, Walla Wakwab, Waha Shalayakim, Noah Shayasha Allah, Bazakwanim Noah Shayasha Allah. And that was the Hebrew for uh, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. Uh, in the name of the Holy Spirit, be peace and blessings be upon the elective nation of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those of the confused faces that look like the heathens that believe this truth and have the spirit of an Israelite on them or in them. All right, according to the lineage. And uh, double honors to our elders and apostles in these times, and known as Great Millstone, all right, the true leaders and rulers and judges of uh, Israel, man, the kings coming back in these times and the prophets coming back in these times true hundred percent true prophets all right I just want to get a uh, pull this bring out this information this tidbit this is something I have always gone through with some of the brothers here in the camp uh, some of the Akim here at the Mazabak at this altar um, but I don't think I ever did a video on it so I just do a short video on because uh, we we always say that all the prophets were Israelites all right <clears throat> all the men of the Lord they're all Israelites the men that wrote this book so I wanted to bring out the example of, uh, and I'm going to use Jonah, all right, but let me just get some precepts real quick to, uh, to edify in this lesson. This is Job 8 and 8. It says, For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. All right, so we believe in this book. The, anyone who believes in this book, you have to believe if you're an Israelite that these are our ancestors, man. These are our fathers. So it's that's why all these lineages and these names are all written in here. I know growing up, when you read the scriptures, it didn't make sense why I just listed all these names. All right. Well, all those names were put there um, so that we could surname ourselves. We could start naming ourselves after our fathers again. Some of us have names like uh, like Dewata, uh, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and Amoth and uh, Yeshaya and Yeramya and uh, oh, uh, Abadia, you know. So that's what happens when you start uh, inquiring of the former age and preparing thyself to the search of their fathers. And another thing that comes up, we have to realize that all the prophets, or the only real true prophets can be prophets that were born out of the nation of Israel from one of the 12 tribes. And all the major and so-called minor prophets were all Israelites. This is Amos 2 and 11. It says, And I raise up of your sons for prophets, and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel? said the Lord and this Israel is Yasha Allah which means he is a prince of the power or prince of power okay or he, yeah exactly he is a prince with power or of the power so I'm gonna go through Jonah and show that you show to you that Jonah is actually from the tribe of Zebulon which today would be considered the place um, from Guatemala to Panama the indigenous indigenous Indians so-called Indians natives of that land all right that's that's who Jonah descends from, all right? Or those those descendants descend from the same tribe as Jonah. I'll say it like that, all right? This is Jonah 1 and 1. It says, Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittiah, saying, all right? So now the first thing you do when you inquire of the fathers, you look up the father's name and see what it means, all right? Jonah's name is Yawana, all right, or Yawana. Yawana, and it should say dove. All right, jo Jonah's name, his name means dove. And when you look it up, it says a son of a Metai and a native of Gath Hefer, fifth of the minor prophets who prophesied during the reign of Jeroboam II, in whom the Most High sent a prophecy to Nineveh, which is in Assyria. So th you can do the same process for all the prophets to try to find out their lineage all right you look up their names see who they were a son of because it usually says it all right so jonah is the son of a Messiah. let's just look up his father's name all right let's just look up his father's name for you new brothers who don't have hebrew names yet you can use these names his father's name is amathia which means my truth amath means truth yah is my so amathia is uh, my truth it says the father of jonah the prophet so now what you do all right, you type in blue letter Amathia, all right, or uh, uh, Amatiah, and this 
and this will pop up or a uh, or you either tap in Matthias or that Brent, that forefather Gath Heifer. And this comes up. Joshua 19 and 10. Going into the lots according to the tribes. Alright. So we're getting to the thick of it here in the lineage. In this inquiring of the fathers. So this is Joshua 19 and 10. It says in the third lot upon came up, came up for the children of Zebulon. Zebalawan. Alright. Well let's look up Zebulon's name real quick. Zebulon's name is Zabalawan. All right, Zabalawan, and it means uh, exalted. Well, this should it should mean a uh, 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 dwelling. All right, Zabalawan mean, really means dwelling. Let's look up Zabal. All right, it says exalted to, to dwell exaltedly. Well, where Zebulon dwells is exalted because it said Zebulon shall be a haven of the sea. All right. And a lot of riches came through there. And that is the quickest travel port from the uh, Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean down there, the Panama Canal. That's how we know through prophecy that that has to be the tribe of Zebulon. All right. Now, <clears throat> when you go back. All right. Let's read this again. And the third lot came upon. And the third lot came up for the children of Zebulon according to their families. And the border of their inheritance was unto Sarid. And their border went up toward the sea and, and Marala and reached down to Dabasheth and reached to the river that is before Janekum. And this is in northern Israel, all right? And turned from the Sarid eastward toward the sun rising unto the border of Chris Loft Tabor and, the, and that goeth out to Deborah and goeth up to Jephiah, and from thence passeth on along the east to Gitath Hefer, all right, to Itikazen goeth unto Ramanathar to Ne, and the border of compass it in the border compass it on the north side to Hananath, Hanathan, and the outgoings thereof, and in the valley of Jibkath, and Katah, and Nahalal, and Shimron, and Adalah, and Bethlehem. 12 cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulon according to their families. These cities with their villages. So if remember when we looked up Jonah's name. It said that he was the son of Amittai that came from this town right here. Which this town is in Zebulon. Alright. Now when you go to 2 Kings 14 and uh 20 started 24 it says and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord and he departed not from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat who made Israel to sin all right this is talking about Amaziah the son of uh, Joash king of Judah Jeroboam the son of Joash king of Israel when he began to reign in Samaria and reigned 41 years now in 25 it says he restored the coast of Israel from entering Hamath unto the sea of the plain according to the word of the Lord of Yasha Allah, which he spake by the hand of his servant Jonah, which this is the same Jonah, the son of Amittai, the or the or Yawana Ban Amathia, the son of my truth, the prophet, which was of Gath Hefer. All right, which this Gath Hefer is the same Gitath Hefer here. All right, let's look it up to see. All right, see Gatha Chapar. All right. Gatha Chapar, H 1662. Let's look up the ones in Kings. All right. The one in Kings. Okay, should say the same thing. Right, Gath Chapar, 1662. And you see it down here. Uh, of Gath, Ma, Magath Ha Chapar, which says. Which was of Gath. That's how you would say it. Ma Gath Ha Chapar. All right. Now, when you look those words up, Gath Chapar is two separate words. Gath meaning wine press. All right, or to press upon, and then the Chapar. The Chapar means to dig. All right, to dig. So when you look at the word Gath Chapar there, and from Joshua, it says the wine press of digging. The hometown of Jonah on the border of Zebulon. So Jonah had to be of the lot of Zebulon, him being an Israelite. That just proves, all right, that what? 
what the Lord told Amos in 2 and 11. That I raise up unto your sons prophets and of your young men Nazarites. It's not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord. So Jonah was Ban Zabalawan, all right? Yawana Ban Zabalawan Ban Yasha Allah, all right? Son of Israel, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Yahweh And along with all the other prophets, man, they were all Israelites, okay? They were all Israelites. And just like we read here in 2 Kings 14 and 25, this proves Jonah was from the tribe of Zebulon because it says, which he spake by the hand of his servant Yawana Ban Amathia, the prophet, which was in Gath Hefer. All right, which that says here, it says, uh, Kadabar, which spake Yahweh, Allahiah, the God of Yashar Allah, Ashar, which Dabar spake by Yad, by the hand, Ibadia, uh, his, or Ibadwa. Abadwa, his servant, Yawana, Jonah, Ban, son of Amathia, uh, Amatiah, or my truth, Hanabaya, Hanabaya, which means the prophet, Ashar, all right, which Magath HaChapar was of Gath Hefer, or Gath Chapar, which means the uh, the wine, the digging wine press, all right, which was a lot in Zebulon. So again, Yawana was Ban Zabalawan. Just thought I'd bring out that edification. If Akim didn't know that and you wanted to prove to somebody that all the prophets are Israelites, here's one example. All right. And the prophecy said that he, the sons of the real, the, pre, the prophets that would be raised up, they would be Israelites. They'd be Ban Yasha Allah. All right. So call Halal and Layahaw Bashimah Washai. Brakathai Yahaw Bashimah Washai. The water Kaya Ha'amaf. The water for the truth. Peace and blessings be upon the uh, Bukhari and Mashapakathia, my elect family, Adawan Ratazal of the elect, and double honors to our elders and apostles, known as Great Millstone these times, soon to just be revealed as the true men of the Lord. All right? Shalom.